All righty then, let's talk about Ben Simmons. Ben, 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 Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. <laughs> he said, I won't, I won't out of here now. Doc Rivers actually was on uh first take this morning. He pretty much confirmed everything that's been reported by Ben Simmons because it ain't directly came from Ben Simmons' mouth. All right. It uh he confirmed pretty much everything Ben Simmons has said. That's been said about Ben Simmons. He said they did sit down and talk. He thought the doctor was pretty productive, but Ben Simmons has come out and say not only that he won't report, um, that he won't report to training camp, he said that he's willing to sit out games. All right. He said he's willing to sit out the season. So make sure you thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the NBA play talk playlist for more videos like this. All that good stuff, right? So he said he's willing to sit out the season and, um, and you know that's what you got to do. You got to be able to plant your feet. You know, defensively they not the they not the same team. Defensively they not the same team without Ben Simmons. You know, he put the clamps on Trey Young when he got an opportunity to play him before they made the adjustment. And he played. Well, what's the adjustment? Just moving Trey without the ball, high picks, high pick screen and rolls, double picks, backdoor cuts, stuff of that day. Just a way to you know to get somebody free. You know, today's NBA culture is not creative as yesterday's, but. Um, but here we go. Make sure no video is playing. Got time for that. Hold on, real quick. Pull up the article. Hold on. Yeah, we good to go here. So it says Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons won't authorize. Uh, seventy-two won't authorize Ben Simmons sitting out until the trade deadline. Okay. It says the Thunder, and that will say right here, I was told very clearly the 76ers do not uh, like these circumstances to Al Horford last season, Oklahoma City Thunder, or John Wall in Houston. As the start of training camp draws near, Philadelphia has shown zero interest to the date in striking a sort of mutual agreement that Wall and Rockets had just hatched uh, to shelve uh, the former all-star point guard. Now, you know, so basically what they see on this right now is they are uh, – they're not going to reach no agreement where he they still pay him. And he don't get suspended. And they say, I don't want you to pay for shit. Nah, I ain't paying for shit. But they won't suspend him. So, uh, so, um, so, uh, you know, so basically he said that, uh, excuse me, basically saying that they're not going to come to no agreement until they find a trade partner. He stay away and they pay him. So basically, they said they plan on punishing Ben Simmons for sitting out. It's a little bit older. So, you know, Ben Simmons, you know, he get his I think he get 15 million of his salary up front. So, I don't think he really tripping. He bought that nice house and he get 15 million of his salary up front next year. So, he get half his salary up front. I mean, you know, uh it is what it is. It's light skin stuff right here, man. You know, he real sensitive and people say, "Well, where did this come from?" They didn't do nothing to him. Do y'all did people forget that after the, they lost to the Hawks, they blamed Ben Simmons and threw Ben Simmons under the bus? Joel and B talked about him not taking that layup. Then name him. Doc Rivers said he didn't know if he could win with a championship with Ben Simmons. This is where this is stemming from. It ain't because he don't like the winner. He don't like the in the city, in the city of Philadelphia been pretty tough on Ben Simmons, too. You know what I'm saying? Philly ain't no easy sports town to play in. They ruthless. You know, they're very, very ruthless, man. So I think the combination of the fans, but I think the biggest part of this is that they Threw him under the bus, and they broke the guy code. They broke the NBA code. They broke the athlete sports code. As a head coach, you don't throw somebody under the bus. As a star player, Joel Embiid, you don't throw. If you had Joel Embiid been threw under the bus by Ben Simmons, he still be bitching and complaining about it today. He would still be crying about. It. At least Ben Simmons went on the. He went quiet. Trade the man. It's a players' league. It's not the NFL where you can say, you know what, we're going to Deshaun Watson you. We're going to force you to play like Aaron Rodgers. It's a players' league. You know, and he gonna end up somewhere. He said they said trade him anywhere. <laughs> they said he wanted to be traded anywhere. Do you know what anywhere is besides about besides uh, Philadelphia? We're not talking about teams that's probably on the up and up, like you know, teams that was in the top lottery, like Houston, Detroit, who on the up and up because they got a lot of young players, so they rebuild them. But there's a little bit of hope there. You know, we talking about like. Teams that have been rebuilding for years, like literally rebuilding for years, like Minnesota. 
We talking about God places like Minnesota. That's wild. Places like Minnesota. Hold on, y'all are showing some shit. They talking about some, like Minnesota, like he said anywhere. You know, anywhere. I'll do anything and I'll go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, come on, man. And it ain't like he Giannis. Like Giannis can hit an occasional three, but Giannis is just a different type of aggressive, aggressive, uh, aggressive player. You talking about, you know, if I'm Chicago, I'm getting on the horn. The Trey Lonzo bum ass. You know, um, if I'm Boston, I'm getting on the horn. Make some jump, you know. Shit, if I'm Atlanta, I'm getting on the horn. To be real, if I'm Atlanta, you know what? I can. You know, I got DeAndre Hunter, Cam Reddish, and I got some picks that I don't need. You know what I could do? I could put B, I could put Ben in the backcourt with Trey Young. I don't care if he can't shoot. Because you know what, boy? Yanovich can shoot. I could put him at the three. Gallinari can shoot. I ain't really concerned about him not being able to shoot. John Collins the third can shoot. So I'm not really worried about his inability to shoot the basketball. <laughs> you know? That's not a concern for me because – in in Atlanta, everybody but Clint Capella can't shoot. And I can easily take Clint Capella off, and I can put Ben Simmons at the five. Because mostly nobody out here playing centers and power forwards no more. They playing, you know, everybody playing small lineups with Draymond at the five and stuff of that nature. So you can easily look at Ben Ben Simmons and be like, you know what? I could put, if we go small ball, take Capella, I'll put Ben at the five. You know, I could put Ben at the three. I could put Ben at the two. I could put Ben at the one, put Trey at the two. When Trey go off the four, I could put Ben in. You know, if I'm Atlanta, I think Atlanta the number one team that should, you know. But then if you're Atlanta, you're like, you know what? I like what DeAndre Hunter can do. If I can keep Hunter, cool. I could play Hunter, uh, uh, Young, and Ben at the same time. But Hunter probably got to be a part of that trade, honestly. He probably got to be a part of that trade. So you really you really do want to trade him in the East and run the Knicks. Easily. R.J. Beard, I trade Julius Randle too because he can't go nothing but left. When Julius Randle don't learn to go right right now, he got he should be gone. But I'm the Knicks. I'm trying to do it. You know, you look at the West. You like, well, more likely he going to the West. What are you looking at? It's a great question. You know, uh, it's a great question. You don't want to put him in New Orleans because Zion can't shoot neither. That's not gonna help the cause. We've seen that with Lonzo. Uh, Sacramento, they got plenty enough guards. I don't think they trading guards that you want. San Antonio, what's the point? I think he get the most out of Popovich get the most out of Ben Simmons in San Antonio. You're probably looking at Portland, Portland, the Clippers, um, Denver. I, if I'm Denver, I got a lot of young assets, Will Bard and some other guys. Imagine him and Murray in the backcourt. I mean, but then people, you know, I think Denver, um, Portland, Phoenix, you know what I'm saying? I mean, somebody like that, man. Um, but really ain't no great place for him to go. I think San Antonio is better for him. They don't get the most out of them. Go, people say Golden State. No, I wouldn't trade none of my assets uh moody or um or kaminga at all but you're probably looking at the clippers the nuggets the suns i mean i mean maybe if you're looking at the jazz too you know um one thing about the jazz is they got shooting english boyanovich um if i'm the jazz i'd be trying to get maxi too if i can get maxi i'll give them whatever they want besides mitchell you know if i'm you know but really ain't no great place for jabez simmons to go but he willing to sit out games Send out training camp is one thing he'll get fine. Like I said, at one point early in the, early in training camp, he gonna get his fifteen million half his at least almost half his salary. So my thing is this: is he really ready to sit out, or is he pump faking? Is he posturing? That's the question. If you're talking about teams that I think um, that I think is is good for him, I mean Orlando. Um, just in general, you know, they, they should trade for him, Detroit, Orlando, because Detroit got a lot of shooting. I'm a Piston fan. Check out my channel, Motor City Sports Talk. He got a lot of he got a lot of shooting there from K, from uh, Bay, Stewart starting to shoot it. Lennon can shoot it. So uh, you got a lot of shooting in Detroit. Jeremy Grant can shoot it. So Detroit got a lot of shooting. Orlando, Cleveland, they young with assets. Why not? Toronto young with assets. That would be the worst case scenario for him going across the border. They're going to be playing in Toronto next year. Um, I mean, even maybe even Charlotte, you know, but him and Ben do the Lamelo and Ben do the same thing. Miami, I really been Miami give you a good fit, but I don't think Ben Simmons. I mean, Jimmy go right off on it. Atlanta is the best fit for him. Atlanta and the Knicks, those are the best fits for him. 
uh, those are the best fits. So uh, that's just my opinion. Look at the West. Um, Utah, Phoenix, Denver, Clippers. Maybe Portland, too. People say, well, why you say Phoenix? I mean, maybe, you know, Chris Paul ain't creating that magic that they had last year. Maybe you trade Chris Paul to uh, 76ers. And I think Ben Simmons, can, uh, he don't shoot like Chris Paul, but I think he may be Devin Booker, but I think Chris Paul, they, they, they the favorites in the West next year, them and the Lakers. With Denver being injured, with Jamal Murray and Kawhi being injured in L.A. So the Clippers would be a great pick if they could make the money work. I mean, it's exactly what they need, somebody that could stabilize it. Him and Reggie Jackson out there sometimes. You put Kawhi and Paul George out there sometimes. He can get Kawhi in them easy shots. But like I said, ain't no great place for him. I just think you try to pile up as many assets that you can. And I think those assets are, uh, you know, young teams that don't need picks. That's got a lot of young players. You got some players that can get you. But, uh, you know, that is what it is. Um, Going to be interesting to see how, how it all play out for Ben Simmons. If he really about that, that sit-out life or if he's not about that sit-out life. Honestly, man, we're going to have to wait and see. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook group. If you want to advertise on the channel, video request, chop it up. Going through something, hit me up. Want to make a financial donation? Cash up, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal, link in the description. Rest with a donate, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, share the video. Peace.